everyone, this is Lin Bian, and today's video is all about the bowl. Yes, all about the bowl. From looking at the parts of the bowl and how to look after and also how to place your bow and how to hold your bow. And now, I'm gonna teach you the name of each part of the bow. This is called tip of the bow. And this part has a bit of funny name, we call it frog of the bow, or a nut. So frog of the bow, tip of the bow, and this part is called bow hair, and this part is bow stick, wooden stick part of the bow. And you have a screw at the bottom to tighten and loosen the bow hair. And now look at this. Your bow hair should be white or very light ivory. If you start touching it, it becomes and it turns into black. Very, um, and it gets very messy. Once it turns brown or black, it does not make good sound on a violin. But the problem is that we cannot wash this hair like our hair. When we get our hair messy or dirty, we wash it with water and shampoo or soap. But this one we can't do it. We cannot wash it with water. So what we need to do is we do not touch it at all. Whenever we touch violin, whenever we hold it, we always use frog or the stick. We never touch bow hair. So if you have anyone holding their bow, grabbing it like this, you have to go, stop! No, do not touch my bow hair. I want to keep it as clean as I can, as long as I can. So make sure you don't touch your bow hair and only touch bow stick. Now this bow hair, bow stick, if you look at the middle of the bow, they're nice the bow stick is nicely curved in towards the bow here. So look at this gap here. This is perfect for playing position. So maybe the gap between these two should be maybe the width of my finger, just tip of my finger. But if you just screw, turn left to loosen the bow here, I can't feel my finger anymore. And this is the gap we want to have when we pack away our bow into our case. This is the sleeping position of the bow. When you take it out for practice, we tighten it about four or five times, I think, depending on the bow, to make it a little bit tighter, but only enough to fit my finger. Sometimes I come across students who makes their bow stick straight and parallel to the bow here and that is very dangerous we can break our bow like that so i want you to make sure you keep your bow stick nicely curved in towards the bow here and now the bow grip i'm gonna hold my bow with my left hand and then i'm gonna set up my bow hand onto the frog this is my little rabbit. I have two ears and two teeth and a tongue. Can you see my rabbit? Can you all make rabbit with your hand? Two ears up, two fingers, and a thumb right behind the two middle teeth there. I do not want your tongue to be out. It should be always hiding behind your teeth. And two rabbit ears up and drop, up and flop should be very relaxed. Um, imagine this stick is like a carrot. And down. I place my thumb in between the two black parts of the bow. With a tip and round. Tip and round, I place my thumb under and two fingers in front and rabbit ears flop. Make your bow stand up and have your bow hand set up like this. Then I want you to grab your toilet paper and I'm 
I'm gonna place my bow right in the middle of the hole and start playing my favorite song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star like this or you can place it like this and twinkle twinkle little star like that keeping the bow hand nice and round so you can practice your bow hold and playing a little bit on a toilet roll until we come back and place our bow on the string. Enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye!